everyone and peace of Christ to all of you and uh, we welcome everybody here including the Muslims uh, to be with us and let us see if uh, who is here is holding the truth uh, just by the way I have received uh, a challenge from a Muslim uh, gentleman uh, his name uh, is Khan I think he is from India and he offered me a challenge in Facebook and uh, Skype I guess he, I just saw the challenge from him and right now he is with me live on air uh, we will take him in, in a minute. Uh, I see his text is saying that Allah says, if you have adopted in this produce one chapter. So this is his challenge. Uh, before we start, please invite your friends so everybody will hear this uh, uh, this uh, nice debate as long as we have Mr. Khan with us. And look like he is a person who knows how to answer the questions and how to prove to us that Islam is coming from a divine God uh, so please share with everybody and invite your friends and let us see what mr. Khan want to say to us are you with me mr. mr. Khan yeah how are you man what's your name uh, my name is a Christian Prince I thought you know who I am right no I don't know who you are but first so, time seeing you so, so how you uh, how yeah. you get to know me I mean why you why you text me in no, Skype? Okay, basically in YouTube uh-huh he just he just makes videos in a room mm -hmm. like he just takes, talks about stuff and he's never done a debate in his life so i wrote in a <coughs> comment that uh, show up for a debate show up for a argument mm -hmm. and he doesn't even do any arguments then after i got a message from warrior who was saying come for debate and he told you your skype and i said i i accept this challenge all right so okay no problem so you are welcome want... you are welcome Mr. Khan. Yeah. so how you can yeah, prove yeah. to me that allah allah is a true god how you can prove okay, that so to me? For, okay, so first of all, Allah is also mentioned in the Bible. Where? So when you open the gospel, where? Where? when you open the gospel, it says, when you open, it says, Eli, Eli. And your God, his name is Eli? Eli? Is, your God, his yes. name is Eli? Where you can find that in the Quran? So, okay, isn't Eli and Allah, if someone shouts it like no, Jesus Allah, was No, Allah is different. No, 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 no. Allah, okay, so, Allah is something and Eli is something else. You need to prove okay, it to me. So, what Eli, okay, so, first of all, first of all, Khan, Khan, first of all, listen, listen, listen. So, first of all, Khan, Khan. Let me make my point. Khan, Khan. You, Who you told you first that even Eli is a name of God? Is Eli is a name of God? Is Eli a name of God? I'm asking you. You start already. You're not letting me make my point. So I will make finish. you make a point, but you just said something funny. Is Eli is a word exactly. mean God me, or it is a name of God? I'm asking you. What's the, I want to learn from you. Khan, Khan. You, you mentioned something. We don't want to jump over. We don't want to jump over it. You see, uh, for me, you ask me a question, learn, learn, or, learn about me. Learn about me. Learn about me. I don't no, like. I don't let things go. You say something, okay. I will hold you with it right away. You okay. say something, Khan. No I am the kind. If you say okay. something, and I want you to do the same to me. I want you okay. to do the I'm same to me. The, so wait, I'm asking what, you now, is Eli, is the word mean God or it is a name of God? Is Eli, well, don't jump, don't listen, jump. Is Eli listen. a word mean God or it is a name of God? Okay, what's the difference? Okay, what did what did Jesus call God? Tell me. Uh, this is not, I'm asking you. Don't change the question no, now. I'm asking uh, you. Don't change what the question. Don't change the question. You mentioned Eli. You, you mentioned Jesus yourself. Oh, okay. You mentioned I'm Jesus yourself. Is Eli is a word mean God. Eli is Eli is a word mean God Eli is a word mean God it's not a name of God now can you find me the word Eli exists in your Quran you're giving me a subjective perception which is not even with the scripture so tell me what what did Jesus call as God that's the main question this is the word this is a word mean God this is a word mean God okay can you show me one translation can you show me one translation? It says I'm that asking, the word will. And I mean, you are the one who mentioned something. You have to. You have to prove it to me. Where in the Christian Bible it says that the word Eli is a name of God? Where in the Christian Bible it says that the word Eli is a word which is a name of God? Can you show me that? Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, show I'll me. Show you. I'm listening. It's enough. Hmm. I'll show you the reference as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you need to call a friend? Wait, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's 
so the testament also says a law and a la in the english bible so this and is the word means god this is the word mean god says, okay this is not a name my friend this is not a name I, and the question the is Christian the is, question is we know where eli come in my, let me teach you something let me let me teach you something khan 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 let me teach you something let me let me teach you something okay if we go and read the verse in the bible what that word mean what that finish. what that word no, mean? Okay, I'm asking you, is it a name or it's a God? Why you don't want to answer? Is that a word? Is that a word mean it's an it's a name? I, I, I want a final answer from you. I want listen. No, I know I will not let you finish here. You see, I am a Christian prince. I don't just debate like others. I hold you with your words. You are a man. I am a man. You are not a kid. So you said to me, Eli is, is the name of Allah. Is your God Allah? His name is Eli. Where do you get from? You know what? Let me make a challenge for you. Let me make a challenge for let me make a challenge for you. Can you prove to me once in the Quran the word Eli is appearing? Can you show me the word? If the word Eli is the name of Allah, listen, listen, Khan. Listen, we are not kids. We, we can't debate by shouting. We can't debate by shouting. People they want to hear your answer. I'm trying just to get an answer from you. Don't just shout. Can you show me one verse in the Quran? It says that Allah his name is Eli. I want to see it. Can you show me one verse in the Quran? Where in the Quran we can find Allah saying, "I my name is Eli." You Muslims, you Muslims have ninety-nine names for Allah. Listen, listen. This is a challenge. I want to show everybody that you Muslims, especially from India and Pakistan, you have no idea what I'm talking about. You have ninety-nine names. Don't talk like listen, Abdul. Don't speak like Zakarnaik to me. We cannot talk at the same time. Can you show me the word Eli in the 99 names of Allah? If we open right now a Muslim website showing the 99 names, can you show me the word Eli? The mic is yours. I'm listening. I'm showing you, but you're not listening. Where? Show, show me. Show me. Go I'm ahead. I'm telling you, what did Jesus call us God? Jesus called Eli, Eli, Nama, Sabakhtana. This is what Jesus said. Do you when know what? Okay, okay, what? Translate. Jesus okay, translate. God. Translate. Jesus call us God translate translate no. what, what the word mean Eli Eli well much back to me the translate for me translate for me translate for me what is that translation what are you asking me for yourself you see you see are, are, are we a bunch of kids you can't you you quote for me a verse of Jesus saying something but you yourself you do not know what that does mean I'm asking you you are the one who quoted not me don't tell me you are the one listen Abdul what's wrong with those Abduls each time I get the Abdul he don't want to answer What's wrong with you? Oh, what I'm asking you, translate for me the verse you just quote for me. I'm listening. The mic is yours. No, I'm asking you. No, you translate. You are the one who quoted. I'm oh. not me. You are the one who translated for me. Go what ahead. What did call us God? I, you, you just say it. You just say it. You just say it. You just say that. Don't repeat yourself like a crazy man in front of the mirror. I'm asking no, you now. Translate the verse. Translate the verse God. for me. God. Translate God. the verse for me. What that verse mean? Why wouldn't Jesus for forbid saying this name for why Abdul? Like first of all, this is not a name. I just told you this is a word meaning God. This is a word Jesus meaning God. This is a word meaning God. Are you stupid or what? Are you a stupid or what? I'm asking you, can you read the translation translation for me? Can you? It is a word mean God. It's not a name of God. Now I'm asking you where you can find even if Eli Eli. Can we find that in the Quran? Can you show it to me? Okay, why? It's the Bible. Why do you want in the Quran for? Jesus, Jesus because you said because you said Allah is in the Bible, you idiot. What's wrong with you? Yes, if someone if someone Allah matches with Allah. No, it doesn't match. It doesn't match. It doesn't match. It doesn't match. What is Allah and Allah? What are you talking about? Allah is ill. Ishmael, let me teach you. Shut up. In the Quran, if we go right now, you will see your fake God. You don't talk because I muted you. You are just a kid. If we go in the Quran, I will give you a mic because we cannot talk in the same time. Do you see the word Israel? The word Israel is Israel. This is a word meaning God, you idiot. Your God, Allah, who is a thief, Muhammad, he stole the word from the Jews, but we cannot find anywhere that this word is exist in the 99 names of Allah. If we go and check Ishmael, it's the same. Ishmael. If we ask Muhammad what Israel means, they don't know. Who is Israel? They don't know. Now, 
The question is for you. Where we can find the word ill mentioned in the Quran as a name of God? The mic is yours. No, let me finish, man. Let me finish. Go I'll ahead. I'm listening. Right now, I'll prove how Paul ruined your religion and the Bible is corrupted fully. No I'll problem. No problem. We'll go to Paul. One, one so, by one by one. one, by one. Don't jump like a monkey. Finish. Don't jump like a monkey. Don't jump like a it's monkey. One by one. The Bible, okay. The coming of in Muhammad peace be one. It's mentioned in the Bible the name of Allah itself. Where, 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 where? Okay, it's where it's mentioned in the Bible it's the name of Allah. Let's let us, let us finish the first one, you idiot. What's wrong with you, Abdul? Abdul, Abdul where we can find? Shut up, you idiot. What's wrong with you? Where we can find the name of Allah in the Bible? You quote for me, Eel. Allah have ninety nine names of them, and none of them is Eel. Can you show me the word ill between the 99 names of Allah you Muslims believe in? Yes or no? That's no yes or no? So, it, so, so it is Allah. not So it is not in the 99 oh, names of Allah, correct? Do you agree? Don't, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk like rubbish. I want an answer. Do you agree that if we go and look in the 99 names of Allah, we will not find ill? Yes or no? Oh, I'm asking you. You said Jesus is the son of God. Don't, the don't prophet. change the topic. Don't change the topic. Where we can find Allah in the Bible, you idiot. What's wrong with you? Why Allah never said ill? Why Allah never said I am ill? We can, where we can find in the Quran, Allah saying I am ill. Bible tells people to lie. If you open the, if you open when God is referring to Ahab. Are, are you going to jump like monkeys? Are you going to jump like monkeys from topic to topic? You are a monkey. Are, are you Zachary? Listen, Abdul. Blah, 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 the Bible teaches people to lie, and Allah is mentioned in the Bible. If you go and look in chapter 10 of the 13th in the book of the it said that the Muhammadim don't be stupid with me. We finish topic by topic. I will spank you and I will make you red before you leave. Now, show me where is the word Allah in the Bible and show it to me in the Quran. I'm listening. Jesus says. My father is greater than I. Then don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't Jesus change the topic, potato. Don't change the topic, potato. You are a you are a potato. You are a potato. You are a coward. Why you are jumping from topic to topic? Are you a coward? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Which topic you want? Which topic you want? Choose one. Choose one. Choose one. Which one? I want the topic where which I make my point. Which one? If you interject me, which I'm going to go their point. Stupid. Because stupid. Stupid. Me, stupid. I'm going to go with Doctor Who. You are okay? a stupid liar like your prophet. Give me a topic you choose and okay. promise me. Bible prom promise you to lie. Promise me. Promise me. You will have. not. Uh, promise me. Oh, hold on, right. stupid donkey. I'm asking you to choose a topic and don't jump. And you promise me you will not move until we finish. Can you promise that? Five minutes each, okay? Can you promise that? You don't Can you promise that? Get, get, get lost. So I don't care. Get lost. Get so lost. First get, let me finish. get lost. Get lost. Stupid idiot. Are you going to quote for me a Muslim website? You jump from topic to topic, you donkey. <laughs> I run away. <laughs> Listen, Khan. Yeah. Are you okay. a kid or a man? Are you Listen, a are you a kid or a man? Are you a kid or a man? Choose a topic. Okay, choose a topic. Okay, okay. The choose topic a topic. Is what is the truth? Islam or Christianity? This is the okay. No, choose a question. Topic, if you okay. okay, no problem. You promise you, okay. you promise me. You promise me. You will not jump from topic to topic unless you we finish the first one. First so what is the first? That's what is the first promise. topic you want to talk about? What is the that's first topic? Exactly. Don't stop. Stop. Stop, donkey, donkey, okay? stop, stop I'm talking. Jumping. You are a written it with words. You are a written it with words. I'm not listening. I cannot hear you. I want first to know the topic. What the topic you want to ask me? And you promise me you will not change the topic until we finish it. The mic is yours. You need to promise me you don't interject me. Because if you interject me, if you, you change the topic, I will mute you. I don't like kids. I'm not a kid. I am a man. Now, exactly. what You're is the topic? Okay, topic. what is the topic you want to talk about? Choose the question. The first question. What is the first question? What is the first question? Choose a question and promise me you will not change until we finish it. Choose a question. How can a topic change if that? How can the topic change if the whole discussion is about what is the truth? <laughs> because we have to finish the first question. If you say something, no, Abdul, 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 Abdul. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, okay, okay. Let us see. Let us see. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let us see how Allah can be God, but yet He says, "Women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs." Go ahead. Just speak. 
That's how can okay. God That's can be God? But he says stupid Bible things. Bible. What kind Bible. of God? What kind of God? Shut up. You are wasting my time. What kind of God? He said that your mother, she have testicles and she have balls in her breast. Is that God teaching? The mic is yours. Right. Is that is that God teaching? Yes or no? Okay. Bible do you, says. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? You see, you ask me a question. I answered you. You are a coward. Get lost. You see, he will say to me, you run away. You can say whatever you want. You are a donkey. This guy, he don't want to debate. He just want to talk and talk and talk. Jesus said, Jesus said. Get me, get me your dad to debate me. And now you are recorded in YouTube and everybody will love it at you. <laughs> what a stupid idiot. I mean, what was the debate? Jesus said, Jesus said, he will keep talking, he will keep talking. Jesus said, Jesus said, are you going to have a debate? You ask me and I ask you, or we are going to talk only? I will give him one more chance. Last chance to this coward. Listen, potato. Listen, listen. I'm listen. Gonna... Breathe, breathe, breathe. Before we start talking. Before you start talking. What about we make an agreement, me and you, that one a question from you and one a question from me. And we will not jump to the second question until we finish the first question. And maximum for each question is five minutes to be answered. I will give you the chance to give me the first question. The mic is yours. So the references. Give me, give me your first question. The references in Kings. Give me the first question. Give me the first question. Give me, give me, give me the first question. Are you listening? Okay, yes, I've made it. What is no, the question? Let me finish, right? What is the question? Finish. What is the question? I'm not, I'm, I'm saying that question, right? So you have to listen. Okay. You, okay. Ask, you know, listen. Uh -huh. I'm asking you hmm. that how can a God be truthful if hmm. he has already instructed someone to lie? So in Kings chapter hmm. 22, hmm. verse 19 to 23, hmm. it says that, God used a lying spirit to deceive Ahab. So why does God have, have to prove us to lie to Ahab? And this guy has said your Bible is false and it inst and your God uses fallacies to say people how to lie. All right, thank you. Are you so, done? Are you done? Is not should, I, should I answer? Should I answer now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. First of all, the verse you are quoting for me, it's about a person who is a bad person like your prophet. So he is going to be deceived by the lying spirit, which means he is following Satan. God created Satan, and he is allowed to go and do whatever he can. But if people don't follow him, they will not be able to be deceived. So God is However, let me answer. Let me answer, donkey. Don't answer. Don't talk. And you are the one who said, I muted you, because now it's my turn to talk. You are the one who said that God who teach people to lie, he cannot be God. And that can be found in the Quran in chapter 3, verse number 28, where Allah, he encouraged Muslims to do taqiyya. There's a huge difference between someone he was deceived by the lying spirit, which is the devil, like your prophet. And if you don't follow the devil, he will not be deceived anyway. And someone he claimed to be God, but yet he is teaching the Muslims to lie to their enemies and to lie to their friends and to lie to their family. You're a prophet, he said, you can lie in three cases. To your family, which means your wife and your children, to your friends and to your enemy. So you're a prophet, according to your words, he is the devil. The mic is yours. I'm listening. It's your reference. I gave you the reference. Chapter what is three, it? Okay. Chapter three, but verse number Shia. twenty-eight. Chapter three, but verse yes, number twenty-eight. Chapter the three. Yes, Abdul, this Shia. is Quran. This is Quran. Tafsir al Jalalain. Tafsir al Jalalain is a Sunni. Is a Sunni tafsir. Is not a Shia. Quran is not the book of the Shia. Is Quran the book of Shia? Is the Quran? Which book are you? Okay. Is the Quran? Maybe any scholar. Imam Shafi. Imam Inafi. Imam. Imam Abu. What they mean that has said that the key is lying. They've studied all their life. So you need to quote from okay, that. Let, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Is, to is your uh, point. Who um, that uh, okay. Is, Listen. Is it who that uh, Hello. Wait, wait, wait. All the scars I'm showing exactly, you in front of me. Exactly. Listen, listen. listen. You, eh? Stop talking. Stop talking. You asked me to show you, right? A Jalalain in front of your eyes. He is a Sunni scholar. Yes or no? 
who at Jalalain, Tafsir at Jalalain, is he a Sunni scholar or not? Oh, which Tafsir, which Tafsir al Jalalain? What's wrong book? with you? What's wrong with you? Tafsir al Jalalain. Which book is that? The book of al Jalalain. It's called Tafsir. Al this is the name of the book. What What's hadith is that, right? That's a book. But what, 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 do you mean, what, hadith? what do you mean, hadith? What do you mean, hadith? Are you stupid or what? No. Tafsir. Whenever the prophet has quotes, you Abdul, have to show me that Abdul, Abdul, interpretation Abdul, of who narrates Ab, it. You Ab, don't just Ab, say Abdul, Abdul. Okay, hold on, hold on. What about Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, and he is a Muslim Sunni considered to the Muslim okay. Sunni? What tafsir? Okay, what's tafsir? the book he has Tanweer narrated? Tanweer al Maqbas, Tafsir Ibn Abbas. This is the cousin of your prophet. He is the only is one your prophet. Name has a prophet. Of the, Quran, the challenge of mankind. Is My it, friend, are you speaking the, the Don't Quran. change the topic. Don't change the topic. You said to me. I'm asking you. I'm clarifying. You're listen, not making any sense. Listen, what did he. Listen, what here we go. This is, what? this is the website in the front of your eyes. I give you the link. Open it and read for me. Tafsir, what is this for? Tell me. Oh, wait, Tafsir, oh, it. it's wait. in front of you. Open it and read it. Wait, wait. Oh. Where yes. is this? It's not open. It's not here. I gave you the link. No, I gave here. you the link. Please, guys, invite your friends. We have Mr. Khan. He is a scholar. He has 10 degrees in Islam and seven degrees in Christianity and one degree in, uh, uh, in cooking camel urine. Let us see what he will do now. He will so change the topic. How does, prove, how does this prove lying? I prove to you, Matt. Answer, 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 answer. I answered you. 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 This is God. This is God. Instructed. The, the verse, lie don't so change well. the topic. Don't change the topic. Right. You God say to me, truth. shut up, you idiot. This is the What's topic. wrong with you? <laughs> Stupid donkey. And people blame me. Why I call Muslims donkeys? You said to me, show me where it says that and show me the tafsir. And now I give it the tafsir. Supposedly, you will read it. Why you are jumping to Matthew? Read it and then you can tell me about Matthew. I like to listen about Matthew. But first, I want you to read this because you are the one who said the God who teach people to lie is not God. You are the one who said that, not me. And this is tafsir ibn Abbas for the Muslim Sunni. This is not for the Shia. And the Quran is not the book of the Shia. This is in the Quran. Now I'm listening. The mic is yours. Read for us. This proves nothing for lying. Read How does it, it prove us. it? Read Show it. Me. Read, it. Read, it. Read, it. read it. Read it. Read it. Okay. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it for us. Read it. Read it. It never proves someone to lie. It How says, does it prove okay, it? here we go. Let us see. Let us see if it says that. It says it says that the Muslims cannot yes. take, cannot take, cannot take the the the, the, the non-Muslims as a friends or protectors unless unless what? Unless you guard yourself against them. Save yourself from them taking it as weird security. Saving yourself from them by speaking, hold on, by speaking in a friendly way toward them with while your heart dislikes this. So you speak to me in a friendly way, but your heart, you hate me. Why you do that? Yes, because you're a liar. You're ah, a liar. Ah, ah, ah. So <laughs> you guys, did you hear it? Did you hear it? Because I am a liar, he is allowed to lie to me. <laughs> Bible, your Bible is the biggest turkey in the world. You know how? Because this book instructs lie to have. This is the biggest turkey ever. I answer you, exactly. Okay. I answer you. Okay, what about your prophet saying they can lie to your wife? What does that mean? Okay, where? Show me the hadith. Show me the interpretation. Show me the four schools of thought. Oh, Show me that oh, challenge. Oh, four school of thoughts. Uh -huh. Yeah, they have studied all okay. the lives. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Like oh, hold on. Hold the Bible. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, your Bible on. hold your horses, hold your horses. Okay, Bro, your this, is the, this is the hadith in the front of me. It says that There's the no prophet has stopped talking, stop talking, stop talking, breathe, breathe, breathe. Here we go. This is your prophet. Can you see that? Can you see YouTube with me? Can you see YouTube? I want you to look at YouTube, please, so you can see the screen with me and you can read. This is your don't prophet. Not, I'm just discussing. I don't believe in false channels like yours. What channel? What, what channel? Type. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you any channel. I'm showing you the hadith. Yeah. Okay. Just. Yeah. I'm showing you the hadith. So what? What are you People talking about? What are you here. talking about? What are you talking about? Listen. I'm talking about how. I'm talking about you are saying the prophet instructs us to lie. All so right. Show me proof. Where is written? I'm show showing you. Here we go. Read with me. Yeah. Read with me. You read okay. Where is it? One sec. Read with me. Send it on. Skype. It is not lawful to lie except in three cases. Who said that? The Messenger of Allah. Jami'ut Turmudi. The hadith is 
Sahih. And this is the link. What's the three cases? Open, op the three open cases? and read. Open and read. Here we go. This is the link. What's the three cases? Open and read. As I say that your prophet, he said, you can lie to your wife. You can lie during the war. And you can lie to between people, which means between your friends. Okay. What do the four schools of thought who've studied all their you life? Tell me, you tell me, you tell me, you tell me, you tell me. Don't tell no, me what the school no, of thought. Me you, the you tell no. me, this is Muslim Sunni. You, you tell me, okay, show me, show me, Abdul, what the Muslim school of thought said oh. about this. Show me, show me. No, show you what? You are the show one who answer me now. It's your turn to answer me. I did hit you with, the, with, with, with my question. Now you show me the school of thought, what they said about this. Show me which school of thought you want to choose, whatever you wish, and show me. That is love together. I will make so you the joke of everybody. I will make you today the joke of everybody oh. in YouTube. You are recorded, this and this video will spread all over. Hadith, Answer me. Hadith, what is the school of thought? You, don't right? change the topic. Listen. What? Okay. Don't, okay. don't change the topic. Show me, me the school of thought. No, no, I insist. No, 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 I insist. I insist. Hadith. You are the one who mentioned the school of thought. I insist. I want the school of thought. 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 I will not let you go without showing me because the school of thought will make you shish kebab. You are the one who said what the school of thought showed about this. Why you don't want to show me? Show me so we can laugh together. The mic is yours. This word. Show me the school of thought, you donkey. You are the one who asked for it. You are, you are the one who asked for it. You donkey. You donkey. You are stupid. You are stupid. You say things you don't mean. Do you mean it really? What you said to me, school of thought. Did you, did you mean it? Did you mean it? Did you mean it when you said that to me, or you don't mean it? Please, her. <laughs> what? 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 Say again. You have shown me this hadith where it says something the man tells his wife to please her. So tell me what interpretation is this? You tell you me. Tell me that. You, you tell me what does that mean? What does that mean? You tell me that. What you tell me? You made that, tell I, me. Tell me what does that mean? The wife she will I, ask you. The, the wife she will ask you. Did marry in this? Uh, uh, did you marry additional women? You will say no, honey. I did not marry additional women. You are the only woman I have. Okay. This is a lie or not? No. You tell me. I what told you, I just told you, I can show you the fatwa. I can show you the fatwa. I can show you the fatwa that a Muslim he can lie to his wife in any purpose he wish, even including the including including marriage, including marriage. What is this? Show me. Show you what? I just showed you here. You want me to show you the fatwa? Yeah, show me, show me. I challenge uh, you, show me. All right. So if I show you what you will do, you promise me to open the camera and do the monkey dance. No, why? I challenge why you not? Why not? Dance. Why 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 not? Why not? Burning hell. So there's also a challenge where Allah after this. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me, so, show, let me search for. Let me show me. Let, let, me, this let me search for the I, fatwa and I show it to you. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Yeah. Hold, prove hold me on. that. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. And tell me about the man. He is lying between the people until I find you the fatwa. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, speak. I'm waiting for your answer. Why you can't lie to people? I'm waiting. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What do the four schools of thought mention in this? Bring me. <laughs> you are the one who had to mention it because you are the one who taught me about it. Yeah, I, I, I just mentioned. I just learned. I just okay. learned about this from your from you. So I just this, learned. I just learned. Means uh, I'll tell you. I just learned. I just learned. I just learned. I just learned about this I from you. Your Bible. How I want you. I want you to I show me the school of thought. In all okay. senses. Okay. Okay. Hold Here on, hold it on. mentioned. Okay. That you're not L listen, you're listen, not listen, 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 listen. Why you don't want to explain to us how you can lie to your wife until I find you the I'm explaining you, right? So, okay. listen, I'm explaining you, right? Okay, so here it says uh -huh. in this hadith, you've told me uh -huh. it is not lawful to like except in three cases something the man tells his wife to please her. Okay, so you can lie if you find your wife ugly, you can say she looks good. This is one thing, right? You're 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 not lying, you're just making it. Free exceptional claim. Okay. Second, to lie in war. Who would ever be truthful in war? No one would, because you're there to deceive your enemy, right? So third, it says to bring peace. You can bring peace by saying other stuff which is pre 
Chanel assumptions. Mm. That's where you can lie and free stuff. Mm. While your so, Bible says... So, okay, so so uh, you can lie to your so, wife. We start with the first one. You can lie to your wife for what reason? What reason? You can lie with your wife? You No, now come into your Bible. It says God no, has instructed... Don't, don't, Ahab. Don't, don't go to my Bible right. first. We, we finish. I, I, I answer you about the Bible already. You need to Just answer me about this hadith. I showed you Quran. I showed you hadith. Why Allah saying... That the prophet, which is my, you. why I've Allah, why Muhammad, why, uh, why, why the God Allah, he says, why the God Allah Muhammad, he says that the man who can lie to his wife, why give me, give me a reason, give me a reason, give me a reason you can lie to your wife, give me a reason, give me a reason, give me a reason, shut up, shut up, don't keep talking, give me a reason so people will understand how you can lie to your wife in Islam. What is the reason? That. What is the reason? Life, life can also works here. There's only three places. While in the Bible, your God. Don't don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't, we will go to the. We will go to the Bible. We will go finish this one. You, Abdul, you promised me. You promised me. If I show you, you will answer. You said nowhere it says the prophet can. You can lie. Now your prophet, he said you can lie to your wife. You explain, cannot lie. Explain it's to us how you can lie to your wife. How you, can lie, say, how you can lie? How you can lie to your wife? How you can lie? to I answer you about. I answered you about that already. Don't repeat it again. It's boring. It is boring. You are repeating the same question again. Why your prophet saying you can lie to your wife? I want an answer. So I'm telling you, you can because there's such circumstances where you want to please. Like someone. what? Like what? That, like what? Give us, an, not, give us, give us, an, give us, give us, give us, give us, give us an example. Give us an example. Okay. For example, your wife makes food, right? Mm. You don't like the food, but you're saying it's good. Mm. That's one exception where you can lie because there are some relationships which have to have a bond with it. Some preception or assumptions. No second thing in war. It's common sense to lie in war. Who would say the truth to deceive the enemy? Okay. Third, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, 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 is that the only? Is that the only case? Is that the only case? Is that the only case in Islam you can lie to your wife about marriage? So don't it's only about food. Okay, okay. I found I found the fatwa. I found the fatwa. Don't Shut up. I found I found I found the fatwa about lying to your wife about marriage. Potato. Shut up. You asked me to show you the fatwa. Where it says you can even lie about marrying a new wife, and the fatwa now is in the front of me. I want you to open the fatwa and I want you to read for me what the fatwa say. What do you say? Are you going to deny it now? You're challenging me to find me the, find me the fatwa that you can lie to your wife, including about your marriage. Now I'm listening. Read it for us. Read it for us. Read the fatwa. No, read the verse over. I just told. I just gave you the link. Read it for us. It's what will make sense? Doesn't make make sense. Islam makes sense. Islam. Your prophet said you can lie to your wife to make her happy, right? Okay. Let's here we go. This table, man. Right? This 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 Why this is a guy. Wife? This is a guy who did marry a woman, and he have now a first wife and second right. wife. Is 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 it lawful for him to lie to his That's first true. wife about his marriage? Yes or what no? Yes or no? Read, what time are you available? Read, read, uh, don't tell me you will run. What time are you available? I'm available. I'm available. I'm available all the time. Read for me the fatwa first. If you want to leave, you can leave after you the fatwa. No, okay. I'm saying it's called if you without these three exceptions, Abdul. if you give me any other reason, it makes no sense. Abdul, you only like I, gave you I gave you, you the fatwa. I gave you the fatwa. I shut up. Shut up. Potato, potato, son of muta. I swear to Allah. I will divorce my four wife and I will wait for you until you divorce your wife and I will marry her and then I will be the father of your babies. What a filthy religion. Women she exchange husband because he divorced her three times. Now read with me the fatwa. Does it say there that you can lie to your wife if you marry a second wife? Yes or no? Yes or, yes or no? Yes or no, coward? Yes or no? Yes or no? So why you lie to us? Why you lie to us and you say this is about lying about our food? Why Muslim they make it about silly stuff? You know your wife she asked you is the food is good? You say yes. This is not about it. You can lie about anything you want. But do you see guys how they try to make it as like hmm, not a big deal. I mean you can like your wife. <laughs> you know she asks you I'm pretty. You say yes, but even she is ugly. <laughs> this is not this is about seriously. This is the coward he he he, he hang up. Guys this is a very serious filthy teaching of Muhammad 
if the man and the wife they cannot trust each other even about marriage even he can lie to his wife about having second women which means he's sleeping already with second women I mean don't even the women deserve to know that she this guy he have a new wife What's wrong with you? What kind of religion allowed in the man to lie even about his marriage? This is why the coward here run away. Which time you are available? <laughs> you know, those people, they think they can say things to me and they can get away with it. This is a, You cannot do that with a Christian prince. You cannot do that with me. This is why debating Muslims is not a debate. It's a, like a chase. It's like a mice and a, a cat. He go between the furniture. You have to grab him from his tail and get him out. He opened a topic. Now he's sorry for mentioning this topic. And this is why he want to keep talking about something else. You see the, what they do, what, they, what the Muslims do. They ask you a question. You start answering the question. Before you finish that question answering, they give you a second question because he don't want you to breathe because he's afraid you will ask him a question. You know what I mean? The point of like speaking so fast to the point he will not let you even talk because he's afraid that you might hit him with the question. So he will not go fast, the Bible, and then he says, and then it says, and how will come the blood Jesus? He jumped from place to place because he don't want you to hold him from his stupidity. You cannot do that with a Christian prince. What he accuses us with, it is the teaching of his God. And the teaching, you see, what he quote for us from the Bible is about a bad person who is following Satan anyway. God, he created Satan, but he did not create him in Christianity as Satan. He created him as an angel. He disobeyed God and he did choose Willingly, not like in Islam, shaitan in Islam is a victim of Allah. Allah made him shaitan. Here we have God teaching us bad ethic, and this is what I wanted to talk about today actually. Why Allah cannot be God? This is bad ethic. This is the most important thing to reject Islam religion, to reject Muhammad as a prophet. And to reject the false God, the pagan God, Allah, as God. What kind of God he teach you and teach your wife? Because he, let, let me ask the Muslim question. Can the man only lie to his wife or the wife can lie to her husband? You know what I mean, guys? The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, and the wife, she can lie to her husband too. I mean, what kind of marriage this marriage is? The base of any society is the family. If the family is corrupt and based on lying to each other, what kind of society this society is? Well, he hung up and he left. Coward. What time you are available? What do you mean what time you are available? I'm here. <laughs> Did I tell you I'm leaving? <laughs> what time you are available? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you will learn about Islam to, proving that it's cannot be from God for this is not an ethical religion as you see you can lie you see I can understand that you are lying in the case of the war you know like the enemy capture you and you will not tell the truth otherwise you will you will hurt your your friends uh, your country no problem but lying to your wife Align to your friends. Who's left? Can we fix a society by lying? Can we fix any society by lying? Muhammad is giving us a solution to fix the society, supposedly, to make things work. Supposedly, this is the purpose of this. Can I make my family better family by lying to my family? What's wrong if my wife, she made a food is not tasty. I say to her, oh, too much salt. What's wrong with that? 
because if you lie now tomorrow she will make the same cooking the same way and you will eat the same shit excuse me <laughs> is that correct guys so what the Quran teach teach about ethic you can speak to Christians in a friendly way you can yes but you don't take them as a friends this is a very bad ethic this is not a teaching from God hello hold on a second please <clears throat> Well, call me when you are ready. Don't tell me. Hold on a second. When you already call me, don't put me in hold. I mean, am I your friend to put me in hold? <laughs> hold on a second. That's funny. A Muslim calling and hold. He is the one putting me in hold. In hold. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing, Mr. Aziz? I am doing wonderful at the moment. So you are a Muslim, Mr. Aziz? Yes, I am. Okay, well, why do you think Islam is from the true God? Well, uh, let's talk about what you were talking earlier. Uh -huh. uh, Which is? About the lying. and. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we can go any way you want. The thing is... No problem. Let's, you, let us just start a French because we, we heard what your friend said. Let uh, me clarify something. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm gonna talk about is common sense. Reason why is because I am not a scholar. Okay, I haven't studied Islam in a long time. All I do is the regular practice. Okay. Uh, if they ask me about questions, I have to look it up on Google and find the source that I believe in. Okay. Or that I follow. Okay. Now we are talking about something. Let us go for it then. You know, here okay. in front of us, chapter 3, verse 28, it says you cannot take the Christians and the Jews as a friend, but you can lie to them, saying to them that you are a friend to them. What do you think about this? Well, I don't think that is true because part of being a Muslim is to follow God and the prophets, okay. correct? All right. And the very most popular story about the prophet is mm -hmm. that his neighbor was a Jew. Can you show me the reference? Uh, a reference, sure. Yeah. Because I, ne I never found this By reference. The way, can you can you read Arabic? I will learn from you if you if you want to teach me, no problem. But go go to the topic now. Can you show me the friend of the prophet who was a Jew? I want to yeah, see that. Hold on. Okay, show hold me. Hold on a second, mm. please. Yeah. <laughs> okay uh should i give you uh the thing is i'll just should i just send you a link on the, yeah yeah you can uh, show you, you can show me a link so we can show it to everybody in the screen no problem cool. all right all right i will open for you yeah go ahead and okay i will open the reference you gave me by the way my reference is uh i learned it in two different schools mm -hmm. and that's back when i was a little child yeah and two different countries okay but as I as, I as i know the reference you gave me is not a reference is that a reference really i i don't know what do you mean by a you reference, gave me a link but... what is the reference for the story of the jew hold on And the prophet met there on a school of learning and they, 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 they would mm -hmm. recite and worship and educate themselves. Mm -hmm. There is no compulsion mm -hmm. in religion. Well, I thought you want to tell me the reference See, about the Jew because that reference, my friend, is a lie. Do you know that? The how Muslims, can it be a lie? Well, it's a lie. Give me the reference then. It's a lie. Give well, me the reference. I will give you 10 years to find the reference about that story. What do you say? Well, it is in the Sira of Muhammad. Did you show it to me. Do you really want to read the Sira of Muhammad? <laughs> My friend, we are we, we are here to you. You said to me, you are the that, one who said to me. That's what I'm asking. Aziz, Aziz, you really Aziz, Aziz, Aziz you are the one who Go said ahead. to me, I am not a scholar, but I have a common sense. And now you mentioned to me common sense. You said to me, there is a story. There is a story. Then you need to show me the story. 
I what I know about okay. this story is a fabrication. There's no reference of it. Okay, well then no. there's okay. there's no point. No, no. then no then, pro there's no point to mention it then. Then don't go there. Then okay now then you win the point. Okay, no problem. Then the, the you said to me that there is a the verse a verse in the Quran that says there's no complosion in Islam, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, what this verse is about? What chapter, what verse? Uh that's what it says in the in the source. Where? What chapter? You are reading for me, right? Uh, chapter two, say, just to be sure, we are, we are reading the same thing. It says, let's see, let me go in there. Chapter chapter two, ayah two hundred fifty six. Correct. Okay, but this verse, my friend, but this verse, my friend, is about the mm -hmm. opposite. It's about a group of people don't want to allow their children to convert to Islam. So the prophet he said, you cannot force them not to convert to Islam. This is not about forcing people not. To convert to Islam is about forcing people not not to accept Islam. Which means if you are if you are a Christian and you have a son who want to convert mm -hmm. to Islam, Muhammad saying to him, you cannot force your children into a religion he don't want. But the Prophet he said, the one who changes religion kill him. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Yeah. So that means this verse doesn't go for the Muslims. This verse must be about something else because if you change your religion. You are going to be killed. So here, some if, of those people. If, okay, my, ahead, my friend, my friend, my friend. I, I don't want to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead, you go see, ahead. you said you speak Arabic, right? And this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. There is no go conclusion ahead. in religion. No one from among the people of the book and the 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 the, uh, uh, the pagans should be recorded to believe in the divine of the oneness of uh, Allah after the Arab embrace Islam. So this is revealed about. A bunch of people who they are not letting their children to convert to Islam. So Muhammad said to them, "You cannot force people not to convert to Islam, but you just agreed that if somebody decide to leave Islam, he will be killed. So how does verse fit with the with the agreement that Muhammad will kill anyone leave Islam? That's mean you can you will be forced to stay as a Muslim. So this so, verse this verse have nothing to do with what you said and the, the interpretation of the verse proving that this is about a group of people they are not allowing their children." To convert to Islam, who Muhammad he said to them, Oh, you cannot do that. You cannot that. you force not force not your children not to join the religion. We cannot there is no enforcement on them. But so may it, I speak now? Mm -hmm. For example, you're a Christian, correct? Mm -hmm. I can't force you to become a Muslim. That's not true. That is that's true. I can't force you to become okay, a Muslim. Okay, read for correct? me chapter nine, verse twenty nine then. Uh, I, I can't read, I'm working at the moment. Oh, okay. But, well, but but do you know what verse? Is, do you know what chapter? What do you know what chapter nine, verse number twenty nine says, Mister Aziz? No, I don't. Uh, okay. I, I, Let I'm me help not, you. No, I don't remember. No, no problem. No uh, problem. Uh, uh, you are an Arab, as I understand, correct? Yes, I am. All right. You know Ibn Kathir, correct? Ibn Kathir. Yes. Yes. Is I he do, I've heard of him. Is I he is he, he is. a trustworthy for you, or he is not? I don't know who he is. I know I've heard of him, but I don't know who which he is. which is color you agree want with which is color is yours your favorite I don't have a favor you have to give me something and then should we go to make a just, then? just just look up whatever you want okay no problem you see I'm, trying, like I said, I'm I just trying to, to I'm just trying to help you you see in, in your go statement ahead. okay you said we cannot force you to convert to Islam this is not what the Quran says in chapter 9 verse number 29 it says that Allah he or that the Muslims to fight and to kill the Christians and the Jews unless they pay jizya or they convert to Islam and This jizya have to be done with humiliation and have to be subdued You know disgraced read with me carefully. I don't know if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? My friend? I, I can't No, actually. Okay. Let me give you a link. Is that okay? okay go ahead. I give you a link. Yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. okay. You can open it from your side. I guess right yeah, I can because I'm calling from my phone. So oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Can you open it for me? I read for me, please. Yeah, hold on. A second. Go down where it says the order to fight people of the scriptures <sighs> until they give the jizya. Let's see. Uh, which one did you say? Go down until it says the order to fight the people of the scriptures until they give jizya. Okay, 
I don't see it. Uh, is it? Go down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. It says, uh, let, let me find for you in Arabic so that will be easier for you. It says, yes. Do you see it in Arabic? No, the last one that I see is, Bissalam. 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 Yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, if you go before, before, uh, before that, all right, before that, go up a little bit. You will see it okay. says okay. right okay now okay. they are the interpretation saying that you fight them for a reason what is the reason because they refuse to accept Islam so you just said to me we cannot force you to accept Islam but we will fight me because I don't accept Islam and okay. then and then you have to force me you have to force me to pay the jizya and then if I don't pay the jizya you will kill me so why why you have to, to force me if you go and and uh, and uh, and uh, flip the page, or you can read the whole page there. You, you will see. You do agree with me? This situation is when a war is going on. Correct. The, the, it's your prophet who launched the war. Yeah, but you do agree with me that Islam, this my friend, my friend, my friend. This is an order for Muslim to fight this war forever. Fight those who don't believe, not those who are fighting you. Fight anyone who don't believe. This is an order I, from your prophet, from your God, that, to fight anyone. Okay, let me ask you. Uh, do, you, do you read what it says there? It says that when when the Arabian Peninsula was secured under mm -hmm. the Muslim control, Allah commanded His Messenger to fight the people of the Scriptures, the Jews and the okay. Christians. All right. So Allah commanded him to fight who? The Christians and the Jews. Until what? Until they believe. So this is a duty the Muslims carry on. It's not only this is the order from Allah for all the Muslims, not they only for a certain time. Actually, that is for a certain time because can you that's prove it? from the beginning of Islam. Can you prove that's it? What... Can you prove that this was only for a certain time? Yes, because it's How? talking about How? Uh, because it's talking about the era of Muhammad. But Muhammad, my friend, Islam okay, in the Arabic Peninsula. Okay. See, when the Arabic when the Islam came to the Arabic Peninsula, uh -huh. as you and I know, mm -hmm. that it started in Mecca and then mm -hmm. he migrated to Medina. Mm -hmm. Which Medina was half Jews and half Christians. Mm -hmm. Are we good at that point? No, no, because I don't think that Medina was half Christian anyway. But then anyway, what was it? but that's not important. Okay, what happened next? Okay, uh, well, okay, let's, it, it doesn't matter. So mm -hmm. let's just say, as I was told, it's half Muslims, half Christians. Mm -hmm. There was a treaty that was made between the Prophet and those two tribes. The one tribe where there was Jews, mm -hmm. Jews, and the other tribe was Christians. But this is not about this, my friend. This is in the in the year, the nine year of Hijra. Do you know how to read, right? It says in the nine year of Hijra. This is all is over now. And Muhammad decided to kill the Christians who they are out of the Arabian Peninsula. He is done. He killed all the Christians. He killed all the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula. Read with me the carefully. Hijra. Yeah, the it, Hijra says, it says. It says. Read, read carefully, Abdul, uh, my friend. Get uh, Arabia, let me, let me Arabian Peninsula. Phone, Arabian Peninsula was secured under the Muslim control, which means there is nobody there except Muslims. Allah commanded His Messenger to fight the people of the Scriptures, the Jews and the Christians. Of on the nine year of the Hijra, He prepared an army to fight the Roman. Is that the first one? Yeah. Well, it's in front of you. The, same yeah, yeah. Yeah. the Roman. Uh, there is no Roman in the Arabian Peninsula. There is no Roman in the Arabian Peninsula. Why your there prophet? Was. Why your prophet when I attack the Roman? The Roman. Yeah, it says as, here. As we all know, there was three empires back then: the Roman, mm -hmm. the Persian, and why then you, okay. the Muslim. I don't care why. Why he want to attack the Roman? Because the Romans mm -hmm. took Jerusalem. To look it from whom? Took it from whom? But your they prophet took it from those people that are there. From who? Who? Who are they? Those people who they are there. They are Jews. Are you sure? Or or Ben Israel? Okay, but as I know, your God Allah, He mm -hmm. raised the Roman, and He believed they are good people. Of course, God is not gonna disgrace a human. He created. My friend, you you are saying He wanna fight the Roman. He wanna fight the Roman, but Allah He called the Roman believers, and He called them a great people in the Quran. If you go to chapter <laughs> three. The Quran People says that, believe. my friend, my friend, listen, don't, don't to jump. you said that because the Roman, they took Jerusalem, that the Roman, they are in Jerusalem for the last 400, 500 years. So nothing new. 
Okay, so why now he want to attack the Roman? Why? Well, you know, what, what the problem? And the Quran in chapter uh, uh, chapter 30, there's a chapter, it's called the chapter of Rome. You heard of it? A room? What is it? What is it? The chapter of the a Roman. Room. Yeah, a room, yes. which means the Roman. The so there's a chapter have their names. Allah, he called mm -hmm. the Roman as a good believers. Mm -hmm. So how Allah want to fight the Roman who they are good believers? How Allah wants to fight the Romans. Yeah, if they See? are, if, if he is praising them, and he promised them victory. Why Allah promised him victory? Okay. We'll hear. I'll tell you why. <laughs> why? So, as you probably do know, we do respect the prophets that got sent. And Isa, which is Jesus, is one of them. Mm -hmm. Now, when Isa traveled from Egypt to mm -hmm. Jerusalem, mm -hmm. that's where we believe that the Bible was fabricated. And that's why well, this has to do with my was... topic, my friend. My, my topic is this: you are, you, are, you, are, you are going so far. I'm asking you, well, why? Why the I'm prophet? Giving you the reason. Why the prophet attacked the Roman? Because mm. the Romans mm. changed or fabricated mm. the Bible, and there was. But a your prophet, my called... friend, my friend, my friend, the Roman have nothing to do with this for a very simple reason. Your God approving them as believers. In the time of Muhammad, not after chapter 30 in the Quran was given to Muhammad during his mm -hmm. lifetime, and the Roman already are Christians. Read with me what, what the Quran says the Roman has been defeated in the land close by, by they, even after this defeat, of there will be soon victorious within a few years with Allah in decision in the past, in the future. And on the day that the shall believer rejoice, so he called them as believers who rejoice victory. So how you are saying to me, the Roman, they are the one who corrupt the Bible, and Allah, He called them as believers who rejoice victory soon. So who who is the Jesus that made the golden? Don't, don't uh, my friend, don't change the topic. The Quran. I'm not changing the topic. Okay, the Quran is calling calling the Roman the Quran calling the Roman believers. How they are people who change the Bible, but yet Allah are, He called them believers. Okay, they're believers because they believe in a book that God has revealed. But you just the said Bible. they changed the Bible. That is the wrong book. They cannot be. You cannot be a believer if you believe in the book of the devil. Are okay. you? Okay, so you can't believe in a book that is written by the devil. That is correct. Yes. So then, then God should not call you a believer in the true God if you believe. Like for me, my God is Jesus. Is that okay. will make me a believer or will make me a kafir? The Quran says we are kuffar. That is correct. Okay, so how the Quran called the Roman as believers? Because God said that the Romans are disbelievers because they believe that Jesus is a God and says that I but did he called them believers, he did not call them pagans. The Quran called the Christians pagans, kuffar. Yes, and so why he is why he is happy, he's saying those Roman they will be victorious and the believers will rejoice. Why he's happy for them to be victorious if Muhammad he want to kill them all. And the Roman should be killed for changing the Bible. So why Allah saying, "Oh, they will be, don't don't worry, be happy. They will be victorious, and the believers will rejoice." One second, please. So your question was, why did God said that the Romans will be rejoice, and why the believer will be rejoice? Which means even the Muslim, they consider them they are brothers and sisters, and we will rejoice together because the, if you go to the interpretation, you will see. That the pagans and the Arab they said to Muhammad, Aha, you claim to be you are you have the same God of the Christians. Here we go. The Christian they lost the war with the Persian. So Muhammad he got them a verse back saying, No, no, hold on, those believers will rejoice victory soon again. So why Muhammad in a few years after he himself he want to kill them? Doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm not understanding my friend here. He That's is true. here. He is a promise in the Roman victory And he is going to celebrate with them victory the believers will rejoice including the Muslims will rejoice Rejoice why it rejoice the victory of the Roman So how the Roman are pagans and they are bad and that you will rejoice with them the victory Because uh -huh. Like I said Muhammad said that he promised the believers winning against the Romans no, no, my point? friend. The, the, here, here, the one who who is a promise to win is the Roman. <laughs> the Roman. This the is the Roman. Yeah, promise to win. My friend, my friend, you are not listening. I understand. Okay. I respect your honesty. You said to me, "I'm not a scholar. I do not know much." So this is why I'm going easy with you. This verse okay. promising the Roman victory and the verse saying 
when the Roman victorious became victorious, the believers will rejoice. Not the believers will rejoice over victory over the Roman losing. No, the Roman will be win winning the war and the believers will rejoice. So Allah here is speaking good of the Roman. So how they are the one who changed the Bible, yet Allah will give them victory and the believers will rejoice for the believer Christians. They had victory. Just one second, please. I have a customer. Mm -hmm. He's gone. Where is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. No problem. There's going to be a lot of interruption because I am at work. Right. I now. understand. No problem. Yeah. Uh. You know, it looked like this topic is complicated for you. Let's make it simple for you. You said to me something about the Bible is being corrupt. What Bible is corrupt? Okay. What Bible? Bible of Allah is corrupt? Well, if, if, if the Bible is not corrupted. No, no, I'm not asking you this. I'm asking you, which Bible is okay. the one you believe it's corrupt? The Bible of Allah? The Bible of Allah? Is corrupt, yeah. Well, Allah sent the Bible, yes. Right, so it, so, is, the yes. so it is the Bible of Allah is corrupt. Yes. Okay. You as a Muslim, how for God's sake you accept that you have a God, his name is Allah, mm -hmm. and he cannot protect his Bible? Well, that I don't know. Okay, I like this quick answer, but don't you, uh, don't you, you just said that it is the prophet you want to attack the Roman because they changed the Bible, but it's the fault of who? Is it the fault of the man? The man is corrupt. People are corrupt. The human being is corrupt. If I have a book, I have responsibility. To protect my book as an example I have five six seven books all of them they are published if somebody tried to change anything of them I would take him to court and I have the original to prove it now this is God his name is Allah supposedly and he sent the book it's called Torah and he sent the book it's called Angel why Allah is willing to protect only the Quran but he don't want to protect the Torah and the Angel like the Torah and the Angel like a yellow pages for him it's not worth that, to protect them that that's a good that's a good one that that i always question myself is why did god send the tour and then it was messed around with and then god sent another book which is the bible mm -hmm. and then it was messed around with mm -hmm. and why not the quran messed around with mm -hmm. so now what that do you think? i don't know the answer to okay because I will help to you. me is you, you to sound a decent guy as you sound a decent guy i, I really respect you to I, me it sounds like what kind of God would send so many holy books? Okay, yet they all get corrupted, except the last one. Right. That that See, doesn't, doesn't make sense. And you are the person of sense and logic. I like that. Exactly. Yet we do both agree that we are humans, and us humans cannot cannot judge what God can do. Correct. Well, not not in the logic of the Muslims. As, as an example, the Muslim they always judge God. They say how God can be a man. <laughs> so you are judging God, you know. Well, you, you say how I, God I can be a man. You are questioning if God can or he cannot. So you do, but you see here well, the, the question here. The question here, if Allah mm -hmm. is God and He is eternal and His words are equal, I mean, it's a funny if somebody want to say to me that the word of God is not equal to the word of God. Do you agree? Wait, wait. Say that again. If somebody said to you that the word of God is not equal to the word of God, don't that look funny and stupid? What is that supposed to? It doesn't mean anything. No. So yes, of it, course it's stupid. yeah. So the word of God must be equal. So now that the Torah is the word of God, the the Injil is the word of God, the Quran is the word of God according to Muslims. So why exactly. Allah? Why Allah? He don't care to protect the, the the others when all of them they are the word of God anyway. Well, I'll tell you this, and don't take me as you know as a as a mean guy if you can find the answer to that i'll be more than happy because i really want to pick the correct religion well my friend first of all the quran is not protected i don't know if you know the story like as an example do you know the story about the goat who ate the quran yes i do okay what, what so how how the muslims and you are a muslim believe the quran is protected but yet we have a clear evidence sahih hadith saying the quran was eaten eaten by by a goat and now those verses are missing because as if i if you allow me to go back to the main mm -hmm. point mm -hmm. 
The main point is, in order to believe in Islam, you must believe the seerah of Muhammad. And Muhammad, peace upon him, said that, the, and also God said that the Quran, your phone is ready, sir. Just one second, please. All right, guys, he, is a, he looked like he had a store or something. So, guys, this guy is trying to be, uh, you see, if you are a Muslim like Mr. Aziz, I will talk to you until tomorrow. He don't shout, he don't play games. I like that. At least he is being honest, right? He he has the right to defend his religion, no problem. I mean, you are welcome to defend your religion, but don't uh, flood us with your voice and shout and scream. And you think by doing that, you are going to get away with it. You cannot do that with me. He said that uh, uh, he don't, you know, he don't understand really how Allah don't or what he will not protect the Torah and he will not protect the gospel. This guy is in, in his way to leave Islam. Just wait. He just admitted that there's something fishy here. Allah, he sent 124,000 prophet. Yet only the Quran he want to protect, which means there's 124,000 books are gone. We will wait for him to call uh, to uh, to go get back. He's still online with me, but uh, he have like uh, customers in his store. Anyway, guys, please invite your friends. Hey, uh, do you want me to call you back because it's no. going to be a little while? No problem, Aziz. You're welcome. You can call me anytime. Alrighty, thank I'm you. I'm glad to meet you and to talk to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care, guys. The the lie which Muslims they believe in that the Quran is protected. Here we go in front of you. This is the wife of the Prophet. Is speaking about a goat who ate the Quran, and now there's many verses in the Quran, chapters are missing. Where we can find the stoning to death verse, it's gone. Where is the protection? Oh, he's calling back. Hello, hello, how are you? Yes, Aziz, how are you? Sorry, doing? it's no problem, no problem. It's a so, hectic day. You gotta reach the American dream by working every day. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. No problem. <laughs> okay. So, so my friend, we, we, we were. Where did we get to? Yeah, we were talking about the Quran is it protected or not, you know, and the, the the gospel is protected or not. You see, in the front of me, you mentioned to me the story. Uh, I mentioned to you the story of the goat who ate the Quran, and you said you know about it, right? Yeah. So this goat ate the Quran. Okay. How then the Muslims they say to us, Allah protected the Quran when the goat. Was able to defeat Allah by this story. Well, you know, if if you look at today's, you know, daily things, mm -hmm. you would see a lot of Qurans being destroyed or burned. Mm. Correct. That that doesn't mean that the Quran is being burnt everywhere. Am I? Are we on the same point? Yeah, but this is nothing nothing so, to do with my topic. Yeah, so this this is not today, and this is not the topic of where. The Quran first got printed, yeah. so we agree on the same point. Yeah, but you now see the here, thing is, how hmm. would the Quran be copied exactly the same if some of it was eaten by a goat? Mm -hmm. So now we have Correct. verses are missing, right? Okay. So the thing is, the the reason why I believe in it is not just because my dad told me, or such and such told me, or such and such told me. It's because I studied Arabic and I am glad the fact that I'm fluent in Arabic. The fact that no human being can put words in Arabic together to be that perfect. Mm -hmm. The second thing is God said that the Quran is not just saved through the book or the copy, but it's saved through uh, how do you say it? memorized through the memories of Muhammad and his okay? That's wonderful. So, we, so now we, we can find okay. the verses for death, stoning to death, as long as they are surviving by the memory. Can you quote for me the verse of stoning? The, the verse of who stoning to death, or the verse about breastfeeding for adult? Can you recite the verse for me? You said, okay, the goat ate it, 
but however Allah protected because the Quran is protected by the heart of the believers but we cannot yes. find we cannot find the verses of his of, of Estonian or verses about breastfeeding for adult or five ten time or five time can you recite for me the verses of uh, breastfeeding for adult ten time okay for example those that uh, like when does somebody get stoned uh, first first uh, first occasion is if you commit uh, rape Aziz this is not a question Aziz not okay. I'm not asking you about yeah. this. You, you say that the Quran is protected anyway by the heart of the believers, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you quote for me, or any Muslim, can he quote for me the verses of five time adult breastfeeding? Can you quote the verse for me? What does that mean? There's a verse in the Quran which is missing. God uh -huh. ate it about 10 times breastfeeding for adult. In case you do not know what does that mean, your prophet, he allowed Muslim women, he ordered them to give their breast to a stranger. If in order to stay with them or to meet with them, so with my respect to your family, I don't mean to be respectful. If you have a wife, she have to give her breast to a stranger, and he have to suck at ten different time in order for him to be lawful to sit next to her in one room. This verse we cannot find so, in the Quran. Can you recite it for me? So if I want to sit with a woman, yes, you have I should suck her breast. Ten yes, times? yes, you have to suck it ten times, and this is was a verse in the Quran. But what is the point of it? I, I ask your prophet. I'm not the prophet. The prophet he come with points. Nobody understand. He's your prophet, not mine. For me, okay. I believe this is very so, bad. You know, I don't want to be. I actually I, want to look at that because okay, I let me get, let me that. let me give you the the link. Here we go. Open the link, please, and read it for us. It's in Arabic. It's in English. You you chose to read in whatever language you wish. Okay. Yeah. So here we have an ethical problem, and we have a problem with protecting the Quran because there's, according to this hadith alone, there's a chapter about breastfeeding for adult ten time is gone. There's a chapter about fifth time, five five time breastfeeding for adult is gone, and there's a chapter about stoning to death is gone. In the top of that, the Prophet teaching Muslim women to give their breast. Okay. So, what do you think, Aziz? One second. What is the name of the hadith? Because I want to read. Uh, uh, what is it called? I want to read. I want to read it in simple Arabic. Well, the the, uh, the link there have Arabic, my friend. The link there huh? have Arabic. You can't see the Arabic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can I can see that Arabic, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> you will laugh at me. It's gonna be hard for me to understand it all. Yeah, but you said you are fluent in Arabic, so you are not fluent in Arabic. Well, this is. We all know that the Arabic. Okay, has let me read for you. Let me read for you. Let the the read. one no, we no practice no, today no, is. No, Aziz, no problem. My Arabic is perfect. Okay. I will read for you. All right. Go ahead. I understand your Arabic is not good. Hadathana Abu Salama Yahya, etc., etc. Let's go to the Hadith. It says, "An Aisha, wa an Abdul Rahman ibn Qasim an Abihi an Aisha qalat laqad nazalat ayat al-rajim wa rabaat al-kabir ashara wa laqad kana fi sahifa tahtu sariri." فلما مات okay. رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تشاغلنا بموته دخل داجن فأكلها. Here we go. Done. So this is so, verses about stoning to death and verses about breastfeeding for adult ten time. And when they were busy with the death of the prophet, a goat get in and ate the Quran. And here you will see it says أرضاء الكبير عشر, which means an order for the Muslim woman to give her breast to an adult. A man and he have to suck her breast ten times until he is satisfied and that will make him allowed to sit with that woman actually there's different hadith says that Aisha before she allowed a man to enter upon her she ordered her sister to give him her breast ten times in order for him to go and be in the room alone with Aisha 
Actually, I, I've never heard of that. Actually, know, there's a fatwa. I'm, I'm, su I'm surprised, Aziz. There's a big fatwa in Egypt from the head of the Islamic Center of the Hadith, the Dean uh, of Al Azhar University. I'm sure you heard about Al Azhar. He made, yes. he made a fatwa that any women she want to mix with men, she have to give them her breast. And there is well, actually, yeah. Uh, and, you, and you, you might, let's, let's laugh a little bit. Fatwas, there is a lot of fatwas these days. But this is, and the, but this is your prophet there's, fatwa. There's, there's something that I laugh about in my religion, which is anybody making a fatwa. My friend, this is not anybody. This is the head of the Islamic Center the dean of the Al-Azhar University making the fatwa and when the people ask him well, how you say that he said this is not my fatwa this is the fatwa of the prophet so the fatwa is what it's an order from God by your prophet w what does it say well uh, as you see this is a verse from the Quran says that a Muslim woman she can she have to give herself her boobs to a strange man he have to suck her nipples ten times until he's satisfied not in the same day he have to do it in ten different day and each time he have to do it until he cannot do it no more. He stopped. That's it. He's satisfied. So in, in this, uh, uh, I don't know, you can search it on YouTube. I wish I can play it for you, but they have copyright over it. Uh, uh, you know, in the in the uh, interview with the dean of the Azhar University, the, uh, the the host, the women, she asked him, well, are you saying if I go in the bus, I have to give my breast to everybody in the bus? He said, yes. And she said, do you know how many men here work with me in the studio? Are you saying to me I have to make them all suck my breast ten times until they are satisfied in ten different days? He said yes. He said how that can be? He said ask the ask the prophet. That is because this is the order of the prophet. There is there is a story in case you, do not, you are not aware. There is a woman. Her name is Sahla bin Tushuhail. Sahla, she is the one who came to the prophet and she said, said to him that she have a growing man a slave. Who is entering upon her and her husband is not happy with the way he look at her or the way that they say he's in the house So the prophet he said uh, Give him your boobs. Let him suck it then time The woman she said how I can make him suck my breast if he is a growing man The prophet said Well, I know he is a growing man Let him suck your breast so the story, you know, the story about uh, about this is coming from your prophet, and uh, you know, uh, you, you, how you can explain it? Uh, no, explain it to me. Well, yeah, I'm I'm right now reading about it actually. Okay. Uh, there are many things. Mm. Uh, although. What is strange is I don't know why they have Abi Hudayfa in it. Yeah, Abu, Abu Hudayfa supposedly uh, he is the husband, the husband of this wife. He okay. is unhappy with Salim. Salim is a slave she owned, and he is a grown man. So Abu Hudayfa is unhappy with seeing this man in the house. So she is asking the prophet what I should do. The prophet, he told her, give him your breast and let him suck it. But she said, how he can suck it? He is a growing man. Yeah, it says, inna, inna saliman qad balaga ma yablug al rijal wa aqla ma aqlu mm -hmm. wa innahu yadkhulu alayna wa inni adhannu anna fi nafsi abi hudayfa min thalika shay'an faqala laha al-nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam arda'i so this is the the same one we're talking about correct right? right so what do you think so here is a uh, قد أجاب جمهور أهل العلم عن قصة سالم بأجوبة منها أنه حكم من أنه حكم منسوخ ومنها أنه خاص بسالم وأمرأة أبي حذيفة. منسوخ by by five the the نسخ here is it was ten time then uh, Muhammad he make it five times so it's still this order for every Muslim woman she have to do she have to give her breast to a stranger and he can suck it ten times do you agree with that Aziz? Yeah. 
Are you going to allow uh, it? With my respect to your wife, I don't mean any insult. No. Do you allow your wife yes. to do that? One second, please. It's a plastic screen for me. Yes, sir. How much? Yeah, it's okay. He's busy. Let us see. Let us see what he will say. Is he going to allow his wife to give her breast to a stranger? You see, this is the main reason Islam cannot be from the true God. Ethic in Islam is a joke. What kind of a prophet he advise a woman to give her boobs to a growing man to suck it, and that supposedly will stop the anger of the husband? Who of you Muslims would like to invite me to his house? And he said, watching me sucking the boobs of his wife, and that supposed he will cool you down. If you do that, you must be a perverted man. And what about the man who is sucking the boobs of your wife? What do you think will happen to him? And what do you think will happen to your wife, a man he is uh, licking and sucking her nipples? What kind of solution this solution is? We are fixing the problem that the man is looking at the women in the dirty way by giving the man the opportunity to suck my wife boobs. <laughs> we are Muslims. We are very conservative. Conservative, better. We are very conservative. Like what conservative? Yes, our wife she wear uh, burqa, well, burqa, but she she have to. Uh, she have to give her boobs to a stranger and he have to he can suck it ten times. I mean Islam is very logical and it makes sense and it's very decent religion. Very much. Yes, Aziz. I got another customer. I'm no sorry. problem, no problem, no problem. Go ahead. So, so Go what ahead. do you, what do you think? If 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 uh, you know if I was asking you with my respect to you about your wife. Are you going to follow the prophet and do this? You will let your wife give her breast to someone? Of course not. Okay, so why your pro why the prophet? What kind of a prophet? He claimed that his God ordered him to do that. Because as you see, this is a verse in the Quran. Yeah, so that's the thing is, I, I've never heard of it. So this is supposed to be a verse in the Quran? As I showed you, if you remember the hadith before I showed you, when we were talking about the protection of the Quran, that uh -huh. the, the goat ate, and this is why you asked me uh, about uh, this uh, uh, adult feeding thing. And this is why I mentioned to you the other story. So this is a verse in the Quran. Read with me carefully. It says, لَقَدْ نَزَلَتْ آيَةُ الرَّجِمُ وَرِضَاءَةُ الْكَبِيرُ عَشَرَةُ وَلَقَدْ كَانَ فِي صَحِيفَةُ تَحْتَ سَرِيرِ So those are chapters in the Quran. This is not only a hadith. Allah, he made supposedly a chapter about it in the Quran, at least verses. And this verse is abrogated by another verse, which it says, instead of the women doing that ten times, she can do it five times. What ayah is that? We cannot find it in the Quran. This is what we are talking about. Oh, the goat, oh okay. The, so the, the basically, goat, this is something that is missing. This is missing by by, okay. by Mrs. Goat. The goat ate it. Okay. You know. Okay. So this is missing because the goat ate it. Right. But as okay. you see, the Muslims agree upon it, and until now, people they are doing fatwa. Because this is in the hadith, it's a real story, your prophet, he mentioned, and he talked about, and even he support his opinion by a verse coming from his God, that a Muslim woman, she can give her boobs to a stranger, he suck it. So even if she, if you watch the, the, the TV show, the Egyptian TV show, the woman, she asked him, she said, I have like a 500 men work in this studio. Should I give my breast to all of them and suck it? He said, yes. And when people, they start uh, like cursing this guy and humiliating him, he told them, you are all of you a bunch of ignorant. This is not my word. This is the prophet saying that. And he showed them the story. Okay. I'm just going to, if you don't mind, I'm just going to keep reading this. No problem. So as you see, uh, Aziz. Is because no, there is no, I, I don't want to offend you. Anything on the TV, I don't believe. And that is due to something that happened to me when I was a little child. No, I, I don't believe uh, on TV. I, I agree with something you. Something happened and... Aziz. I saw it in my eyes I and then not, I saw it on the TV and it was a lie. So, okay, go ahead. I don't, go ahead. I, I'm, not, I'm not asking you to go by the TV. This, I'm, yeah. I'm, I just mentioned this, this guy, the dean of the Azhar University. This is not okay. a guy who, uh, who own uh, a, a Pepsi Cola store. This is a professional a religious man, respected, hired by the government, approved by government to present the country in the case of religion. So this is the highest authority of Islam. This is not you and anyone. 
this is a person who spent his life he's a scholar and he have many books and he, he made a fatwa and the fatwa is not from him he is just quoting what your prophet said this is a hadith narrated by Aisha is Aisha a, a, a woman coming from the TV no so okay but the thing is as as I kept treating I'm sorry to interrupt it's saying that this is not true and the reason why mm -hmm. see they list here is قال القاضي عياض ابن إكمال المعلم بفوائد مسلم كتاب الرضاعة باب رضاعة الكبير قوله في الحديث أرضعيه يذهب ما في نفس أبي حذيفة وفي الطريق الآخر تحرمي 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 عليه قد حملها أزواج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على الخصوص كما تقدم دليل الكتاب بقوله and this is an ayah this is from the Quran حولين كاملين لما أراد أن يتم أن يتم الرضاعة so basically two years of breastfeeding to the little child and then it says with a بدليل آخر قوله لا إرضاعة بعد تطام وقوله إنما الرضاعة من المجاعة so you you only breastfeed yeah, but my friend, the, this is, you see, older. those people, they are mixing. I, uh, you are reading just an article. This is not true because this is about a child. This case is not about breastfeeding. This, here, breastfeeding is not for milk. There's no milk here. This woman, yeah, but, this woman, she's an old woman, uh, Aziz. Women, they have milk only when they give birth. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So the woman here is an old woman. She is not a young woman. She don't have a baby. She's not giving birth. So how is going to suck her breast? And there is no milk anyway. Well, like I said, see, I don't agree with that. And here is they're they're agreeing that that what she told me is incorrect because God said la rida بعد الفطام. No rida بعد الفطام for for children. This is have nothing to do with children. Those are okay. adult. This is the verse of adult breastfeeding, not for children. That different topic. You see, when the Muslim make articles, it's very funny. Nobody is using his logic, and you are a person who likes logic, right? So the topic they are talking about is nothing to do with our topic. Here is not about breastfeeding for milk. Here is about a man sucking the nipples of a woman. She don't have milk. You see, Aisha, she never had babies, correct? Yeah. Okay. Can I suckle from Aisha? I mean, what, what the point? She have no milk anyway. And Aisha, because she is the wife of the prophet and nobody should do that with her, she was ordering her sister to do that but her sister she didn't have babies so what they are sucking they are sucking just her boobs so what these children have to do you see when they make an article it's very funny they defend in a very funny way they don't have they don't have the, the intelligence of conversation because that is a topic and this is a topic this is about a woman she have a problem and there's a man he's a growing man and now he is in her house and she, she is not giving birth she don't have milk and a in al Mijah, it's for someone who wanna eat, drink. But this guy, this is the, this, this is not the purpose. And when they say it's not true, well, this is a verse in the Quran. What is not true? That is well, what you're saying is logic. Yeah, so they are mixing things up. You see, okay. So here I'm sorry, I, I pulled up another one which sounds convenient to me. Hmm. Uh, so let's just read it and see if we agree on it. Okay. Basically, it says, "Hal yajuz arda al kabir ghair al muhram," which is, "Is it okay to breastfeed somebody that is an adult who is not a family?" So it says, first, arda arda al muhram la yatwaqaf an masl laban min al sadi, bal lo wada, bal lo wada fi inaa wa sharaba min hutfi. Kana dalika arda. رضعا معتبرا في قول جمهور العلماء قال ابن قدام رحمه الله قال الشافعي والصعود كالرضاع وكذلك الوجوه. My friend, are, again, again, uh, Aziz, you can, you, can, you, can, you can you take your time, but this is about children have nothing to do with our topic. They are still talking about feeding a child milk. That is not the topic. This is a I, man. I understand. Yeah, I understand. They are mixing things up. There's no connection between this and this. You see. As I told you, you can read the whole article. You will see that the Muslims went so far trying to, to trying to defend Islam by by fabricating stories have nothing to do 
with the story this woman she is a woman and it's not a child who is in her house it's a man a growing man and this man do yeah. not need to drink milk do he but this one is saying that he can drink the milk if he was first of all for first into, of all first of all go Aziz, ahead, go ahead. Rida is not a drinking Rida is suckling Rada, okay. Rada, you can go to the dictionary من رضى 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 على الشيء رضى على الشيء which means he okay. he he hold it between his his lips and he hold with it and he suck it so رضى I cannot be by drinking from a, a, a cup of water so but if you drink from a water from from a milk of a woman and you are a child according to Islam this is considered equal to رضى but this is not the scenario we are talking about the Prophet he did not say to the women give him some milk in a cup and let him drink it. He said to her, suckle him. And suckling is about you putting your lips around the nipple of a woman and suckling. And this woman, she don't have milk anyway. So this is have nothing to do with all the article written in front of you. Okay, but it says if it was milked into a dish. But my friend, this woman, she don't have milk anyway. And what that will do anyway? <laughs> I mean, are, are we talking about a cow? No. This is a woman, uh, she don't uh, have a children. This is, a, this, no is, can, this is a woman, she, she is a growing, she, she don't have a baby, she don't have an infant to, to feed him milk. Women don't have always milk. And she is a growing old woman. So how she is going to feed, don't you see that this woman, she was surprised. She said to him, how I'm going to suck him and he's a growing man. She didn't say how I'm going to feed him some milk. How I'm going to suckle him. But yet he is a growing man. So still we are talking about suckling. We are not talking about drinking milk and the women she have no milk anyway but because the muslims trying to avoid this and what we will do with the verses in the quran this is a verse the quran says breast feeding for adult what they are talking about is breastfeeding for a child this is have nothing to do with our topic in okay, front of you so in the front of you in the hadith aziz does it say ridaatul kabir ya ashr does it say that yeah okay it's ridaatul yeah. kabir so why they are talking about ridaatul sagir <laughs> they have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, yeah. And, and here it also says, لا يثبت التحريم برضاعة الكبير. See, here we go. قول جمهور الفقهاء. Thank you very much. رضاعة المعتبر ما كان في الحولين. Thank you. So now it's still so and, basic. And that will make it more rest. problem now. We have big, bigger problem. Do you know what the problem now? What is the problem? They just admitted that if a man suckle a woman breast that will not make him uh, forbidden from her to have sex with her or to marry her correct no this is okay saying, so what the point so what the point then no this is saying there is no prohibition right from breastfeeding and an adult right so a man if he suckle a woman breast still he can have sex with her so what the point <laughs> what the no point? it's the the thing is saying there's nothing that Prohibits. Yes, there's nothing for bed, which means which okay. No, no, so, Aziz, let me explain example. to you. I don't know if you understand ahead, Arabic very well. What they are saying to you in Arabic there that if a man he suckle from a woman, still he can marry her. But if a child he suckle from a woman, he can marry he cannot marry her, he cannot marry her daughter, or if she is a girl, she cannot marry her uh, her son, or you know, which means she became like a family. So oh, this is I know where you're coming from. Yeah. So for, for example, I, I actually have this situation. See, right now I am a brother mm. of another guy who's not from my mother. Mm. How, how you're gonna ask me? Well, how is he your brother? If he's I, not I know, I know mother? what you're talking about. You know, I he know. is because I was breastfed by his mom. Yeah, but do you think really by somebody drinking the milk of somebody he became a brother? Really? Well, yes. Why? Why? Because scientifically, uh -huh. the when you the milk of a mother mm -hmm. basically plants the love of that mother into you. Mm. So if we drink me and you from the same cow, we became brothers. Well, no, not a cow. See, there's so? a difference between Why? the cow. Why? Because God made the woman mm. milk different than the cow uh, the the woman milk is something that I, God I, I can show you I can show you a Muslim guy calling the scholar life in TV what he was asking that he have a fiance and they are getting they are married already actually you know get picked up you know 
So they are married already, but they did not do intercourse yet. And they made a mistake and ate from the same ice cream. And now he feared that he cannot marry her. What do you think? Well, I think that guy is just having some problems or complicated. Okay, in his so mind. why you think it's logical? <laughs> Come on, Aziz. So what is the well, difference, really? It's saying to me that okay. women she would love. So what does that mean? I mean, I well, am not your brother anyway. If we drink the same milk, that is very silly. So if, for example, let's just say you and I were breastfed from the same woman. Yeah, and what that would do? Nothing. Okay. Nothing would do. Well, it's food. And I know and she has mm. her daughters and they also got breastfed at the same time mm. with us mm. when we grow up we're gonna grow up together mm. aren't you gonna feel like she's your sister okay let me ask you you as a Muslim you are allowed to marry your cousin correct uh, not really who said that who said that that is as well as the way I was taught that is something that is not preferred to do so it's not is, is it based on islam or based on your family they told you it's not right basically it's based on islam oh, okay so it's based on islam. so basically my 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 dad believes and my grandpa believes that hmm. marrying from somebody that is not from yeah. the family yeah. is better because marrying from the family could cause problems yeah but what the quran says is the opposite the Quran says it is lawful for you to marry the, it the, is the daughters lawful to marry your cousin, not yes. your sister, yeah, not your brother. This, this is what I asked you. I said to you, so you cannot marry from someone just because she drank milk with you, but you are marrying a cousin who have your blood already. Well, the thing is, like I said, there is a difference between. Okay, so how does love is planted into your heart? As a baby, mm. how is it planted? What what that have to do with the milk? Well, it's because it's from your mother. What if I get take milk from uh, from a cow or a goat? She is a mother too. The mother, the, the, the goat is a mother. The goat she don't have see, always milk. See, the thing is, you cannot compare a human to an animal. Why? Why? Why we cannot? Why we cannot? Why? Because God said that human. Or you, God said that the humans are not the same as no, he said, animals. No, he said uh, that animals are community like you, and they have even Quran. Don't you know that? Hold on, hold on. No, I actually know this one, but I just don't know this. Uh, the ayah. I just want to find the ayah. The Quran says, "وَمَا مِنْ دَابَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا طَائِرٌ يَطِيرُ بِجَنَاحِهِ إِلَّا أُمَمٌ أَمْثَالَكُمْ مَا فَرَّطْنَا." Animals are Muslims like you and they are community. So what the difference between drinking the goat milk and drinking a woman goat milk? And same time, we are going far away from our topic. How that if the man drink the, the women milk, even if there is milk, you just said that she is not forbidden for him still. So what the point? Well, like I said, the point is, if, if you don't agree with me on this, let's not, let's not take it religiously. And I hope you don't get offended. I would think that somebody is ridiculous when they're going to marry somebody that they were breastfed from the same mother. Okay, I'm asking you now about your okay. prophet. He ordered the women who have no milk anyway to give her breast to a man. And you are the one who did read for me that it says there this man is still lawful for her. So what the point? So what the point? What, what the, we did now? Thing what we the did by is, making this woman giving her breast to that man what is the accomplishment yes it's in there go ahead that guy never came for his phone no no he never did here uh this the thing that we were talking about was breastfeeding in adults correct mm -hmm. so basically when you're gonna be breastfed you're a family but you just said he's allowed still to have sex with her if she is if he is a grown man that the forbidden only is for children this is what you said what it says in front yes. of you in the page okay so what the point of having a woman giving her well, breast to a man well that that child before he become an adult this is not a child now. already well he, he was a child correct 
but now he's a man. We're talking about a man. Yes. We're not talking about breastfeeding for a child. We're talking about the yes. breastfeeding for an adult. He is a man. Yes. So what we will do if a woman she give her breast to this man? What happened? Well, you you do agree on me with when when I said that it gets the love gets planted when you are a child, not when you are an adult. Okay, so let us say no, that's fine, no problem. What about the man? Now? Our problem is the man. Well, the man was a child, and the planted was the love was already planted in him when he was a child. But the man he did not suck the women when he was a child. She, he's asking her now, and then this man now is a grown man to give her boobs to him. He's not a child no more. He's a man. That, it's in front of you. Correct. The hadith. Okay, so what the point of giving a man the boobs of a woman? She don't even have milk, and she is a grown woman, and he is a grown man. Do you think really a man he suck the woman breast, he will behave? He will behave. Yeah. Do you think it's right for a woman to give her breast to a stranger? Do you think a woman she will not get excited, and the man will not get excited? What the point of this? This is. This is a, this is a perverted behavior. What do so, you say, uh, Aziz? Um, I don't want to. Uh, don't take anything I say to you personally, please. I respect you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Imagine me. Let us say about me. I don't want to make it about you, so don't get offended. Imagine no, I'm a Muslim. Okay. I opened yeah. the door of my house and I found a man in the couch with my wife, and he is suckling her, her her nipples. I said, "What are you doing?" She said to me, "My honey, the Prophet said if a man he will enter the house, and this is the cable guy, I cannot let him enter without suckling my breast." Well, the thing is that man is not going to enter the house without a man in the house. Well, he is already in the house. As you see, this man, he is in the house. He lived there. <laughs> well, that guy grew up in that house. Since my my friend, kid. doesn't matter. The husband is unhappy for seeing a stranger in his house. Still, he is not her son. If you have a slave, doesn't mean he can. he's not a man. He is her slave. He is not her son. He is not her brother. He is just a stranger. So, He'll be back. Sorry. Yeah. He is just a stranger anyway. So what the point? What what Muhammad accomplished by making this man? Or this is this is an order for all Muslim women. And uh, this is a verse in the Quran too. That she have to do it ten times. What is the point if he still can have sex with her? You are the one who said to me still. Just apple. <laughs> no, up. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, sir. It's okay, Aziz. It's okay, Aziz. Uh, this guy is busy. Anyway, guys, uh, he's a nice guy, but obviously he's trying to defend uh, this madness. But you cannot defend that. Thank you, Aziz, for calling. Anyway, guys. So today we cover something very important about Islam, but we don't really cover everything. The most important thing about Islam that this religion have no ethic. No ethic. And it's a stupid. What kind of a prophet he order me or order my wife to give her boobs to a stranger? And what kind of a religion practice such a practice? It doesn't make